Okay, you're using spreadsheet and you have a list of data with duplicates in it. If you look at this list of data, you can see Jed is in here twice, Albert's in here twice. So the old fashioned way would be just to delete those and then delete the rows or to sort it and delete the duplicates. But if you have a bigger list, that's a lot of work. Another way to do it is a built in function that Sheets has called unique. It's a lot easier than doing a pivot table or deleting rows. So let's give it a whirl here. We'll just go to a place that's below or to the right of the data. You'll see why in a minute. Type in unique. And then all at once is the range. I actually can't see the range right now because that box popped up on top of it. So I'll just use my arrow key to go up and hold down my shift key hit the arrow key until I'm at the end of the range and close the formula off with my with the ending parentheses and hit equal this is what scroll down a little bit this is what this function does so it still sits in A12 if you look if I hit 8 if I hit F2 there it is so the function is still alive and well you can change it if you want and it writes its output starting in that cell and below. So in cell A13, that's you can't delete that because that's dynamic data. It was written by the function in A12. But to look at it functionally, it just output the same list without the duplicates. And if you need this in a static format, all you do is copy it and then right click no, we're not. Copy it. Edit. Paste special values. If you take a look at the new list, these aren't formulas anymore. So I'll go down one. It actually says Jed. If I go back to where the formula wrote it, it says Jed, but I can't delete it. But if I go back to where I copy and paste special, I can delete it. So depending on how you need to use the data, you can either just use it as it was written out, or you can copy and paste it special as values. We look at a little bit more involved example just to see what all it can do. I'm going to paste this over here and show it to you live. Live. So if you look at this list, there's duplicates here that have both values in each column duplicated. And then I put in some duplicates that are only duplicated in column C. And then you'll see another aspect of this function is that it needs duplicates in both columns. So every value has to be duplicated. So it sorted out the Albert, but it did not sort out Jed. He's in here twice because this function doesn't consider that to be duplicated. And that's really all there is to this function. It's easy, um, easier than the other options.